tomatoes woman. See my husband on the night. Just bush market fit me up. <laughs> I'm rushing upstairs because the one we ordered online wasn't successful. So I'm here right now and I saw a lot of people. African people, Nigerian people. Guys, that bought a lot. Guys, it's tomato season here in Italy. So I need to go and grab for myself. So guys, this is it. People are rushing it. So they said you cannot buy more than 10 bucks. So I'm picking 10. I'm just buying four. I'll pick for someone too. It's finished. So what happened is that last week, these tomatoes came here last week, and uh, people came and bought like 50 cartons, 30 cartons, and uh, this one that just came now, they said that it's maximum 10. The highest you can buy is 10, and I love it. It's okay, but I wanted to get for someone, and that person is at work now, but it's fine. This one is enough. This is my tomatoes, guys. I'm so happy that I got it. And this is a very strong seed very strong seed guys i think i'm done for the year <laughs> for next year yeah i'm done let me think of how to preserve it tomatoes woman see my husband back then i just packed it <laughs> tomato woman oh my bush market fit me up <laughs> guys if you see the way i saw this message on the group because last week this tomato came and uh, before i could open this message we rushed and we couldn't find Kai. And the worst thing is that this Domino is only shop that <laughs> do sell these tomatoes in bulk, guys. This is tomato season. The one we ordered online that will come from Ontario. I don't know what the girl is saying. She was saying that this Domino uh, have this uh, contract with farmers, so she couldn't get. We already paid for it. So this morning, I just waked up. I was, I was like, what is going on? I saw this on the group. I said, no, 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 no. I quickly rushed in. Go to the bathroom, <laughs> brush my teeth. <laughs> yeah, this is my guy. That is my head time. <laughs> awesome. I need to know what, what happened to me previously to happen to me again. Ah, I'm so happy. And I love the way they did it. They said that you can buy 10. Higher. The highest you can buy is 10 piece. And I love it. If not, hey. <laughs> if not, I'll not even see when immediately I came. Ah, I saw Nigerians. We like blacks. In fact, Nigerians, because we love tomatoes a lot, they were coming and I said, ah, Are you sure these tomatoes is? <laughs> Immediately, I rushed inside. So, when I went there, it's like 30, 30 or 40. So, I met three people there, and other people came on. You, know, you see the way I was <laughs> packing my own. <laughs> I need to remember there was something like trolling, and I need to put it. It's after that I brought out my own. I was, Oh, how am I going to carry this thing? And I went down to. Um, Get a trolley to pack my tomatoes. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is my new gold. <laughs> so I wanted to give someone this one, this two. Then they said they will bring more next week. So when they bring more next week, I'm going to rebuy this and get more sell because I'm gonna store a lot. This once will not happen at my back again. <laughs> I was opportunity to got them but like i showed you guys but i have given like half to some people so this here now is five boxes and boom this is what my tomatoes is looking like i love their tomatoes here because it's like pure red you don't even need tomato paste for this yeah like i have a special way i used to preserve my tomatoes and i decided to share with you guys so you guys will also benefit and know how you can also preserve your tomatoes so guys like i was saying i'll show you guys how to preserve these tomatoes i have my special way i used to preserve my tomatoes even back then in Qatar. And like seriously i'm so happy getting these tomatoes because i can remember last year two years ago i used to watch canada vlog like i love watching canada vlogs a lot because i know that i'm coming here so I saw a lot of people how they preserve their tomatoes, how they preserve their vegetables. They say that this is the season. August, September is usually the season. People can actually stop tomatoes and buy in bulk. Unfortunately, we came during February. That time is not the season. Like since then, I've been buying tomatoes like four pieces like this. You can get it for $10. 
15 piece you can get for 20 dollars like the thing used to annoy me a lot so i was looking forward this season like to get the tomatoes in bulk and this is me <laughs> i'm a tomatoes here <laughs> but honestly tomatoes is literally pushing me away in this house so back when i was watching people had the preserved the tomatoes and um i think my own special way would be the best because this tomato you are going to see how i'm going to compress this tomatoes see i don't have deep freezer yet yeah i don't have deep freezer yet but the way i'm going to preserve it it will be it will shock you guys yeah the next thing remaining now is kale i need to buy kale if you are in st john's and you know where i can get vegetables in bulk i need kale i need a shepherd pepper like capis corn or shumbo yeah that's what they call it here especially the shumbo they call it shepherd pepper here i need that and um yeah let's go So guys i will start by washing this after that i will now cut it into two and start boiling it yeah like this is the one i have done so far so you see i'm cutting it into two maybe start boiling this way and the water starts coming out i'll just go and drain it don't worry i'll show you guys and when boiling it make sure it's you know like medium heat not like high high heat so that it will not get burnt so and i still have some i'm going to cut now yeah So that is it. I'll cover it, put it on the medium heat and allow it to boil up. So I'm going to drain out this one now. So guys, after you drain it, allow it to drain for like two minutes. So after two minutes, you pour it back inside the pot. Then that is where our hand blender will come in this hand blender will come in you can use to blend it in your big blender but i found this very very handy and uh, easier to do i don't need to start washing my blender all over again and but if you have a non-stick pot you don't need to use this here yeah? if not it will scratch your pot because i have a stainless pot i will not be using my my radiance cookware this is my odogu pot <laughs> i will not be using this pot to do it here yeah? i will not be using it i'll always be using uh, this uh, stainless to do that yeah, i'm going to show you guys keep watching of this method is that you don't necessarily need to start uh, blending your tomatoes all over again after you might have froze it then when you defrost it you start blending it draining the water again no i see a lot of people the way they preserve this just the seed of tomatoes they will put it inside the oven sprinkle some oil roast it then pack it up in the deep freezer for me i didn't fancy that method i don't know maybe for me i don't know for any other person that one you still need to defrost it and still blend it to make your food but this particular one after blending i make sure that the water is out then pack it in the deep freezer then when if i want to make my stew make my jello fries i'll just bring it out allow it to defrost then i'll start preparing my food so i think that's the reason why i love this method guys keep watching you see that this method is so easier so after blending it guys this is the consistency it should give you see how porridge it is this is how you should want it to be okay so after this we are going to see this now this is my sieve here so this is the kind of sieve you need to sieve these tomatoes you don't need a big one if not you are going to lose a lot of your tomatoes you can actually use this type too or this yeah this is the best because the only thing that will come out from this thing is just water your tomato is not going to waste at all so let's do it together so to sieve it that first water so what i normally do is that that first water that will come out from it okay still put it back because you still have some tomatoes inside put it back guys then drain start draining it and take like one hour yeah allow it take your time to drain it because it will help you when you want to use it uh, in the future 
after freezing it as you want to use it you know that the tomatoes is thick enough so i'm going to set this thing aside so guys this is it i'm going to leave it here to drain an hour for five minutes or two hours two hours three hours just get enough of this because i have three of this here or four of this so it will give me enough time to be draining the tomato so after this the next step is just to scoop it put it inside the ziplock bag and freeze it yeah that's all as you can see it's just water that is coming out you see you can see the water is now it's not clear it's not water this will just drain the water oh my god see how red this tomato is i so so love it so guys as you can see now this thing is draining very well yeah see the water is as clear as so while it's reducing i will scoop this one and put it here so that i can have um, space also Okay, this is how far we have gone and uh, I want to plant another one now This method is just the best. And this one that can actually be enough for a week too. Yeah. So guys, this is finally the outcome. This is my two methods. So total I've done now is five. I did the whole of five five or six please honestly i didn't even know how how i managed to pack all this thing but still i still have some space inside here see it's still freezing why some are very now hard why? yes guys it's still inside or inside 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 all these things inside is my tomato guys <laughs> i'm done for the year I'm here to get the freezer guys very soon I know I'm going to get that and uh, then I will now stock a uh, shepherd pepe and uh, capis cup yeah 3,000 years later so guys I finally found the shombo they call it here shepherd pepe so two weeks later after I got the tomatoes uh, the same shop they brought a uh, this particular shombo this is more like a capis cup or tatashi whichever one you call it they uploaded it and some people that went posted in the group and i had to go and rush to get mine so i got the first badge 10 carton second one i got 10 carton as well so i had to get for most of my friends that went to work that couldn't come that day so i get for them so at the end of the day i have eight bosses here yeah so each one is usually 21 lb and uh, yeah and one goes for 18.99 yeah just say $19 for this I can remember the time we came newly I went to the shop like Walmart I think they are selling like one of these two dollar I went to the African shop because I love this a lot I even love this more than tomatoes 
I went to the African shop and they told me they are selling one three dollar. I was like, is that how I'm going to survive in this Canada? Because I love bell peppers a lot. I, I prefer bell peppers more than tomatoes. Assuming that this was the first thing I saw before the tomatoes, I would have maybe got this one 15 bucks and then get tomatoes like five bucks, but it's fine. I love the way it's so affordable. You can actually get something to store for the family. Yeah, to the next summer. Yeah. This is me telling you guys that I'm prepared this winter. <laughs> I am prepared guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy getting this. The next problem now I'm having is freezer. I've been looking for a way to get freezer from Facebook marketplace, but I don't know. I don't know. If not, this thing will start spoiling. Yeah. So this is what my freezer is looking like. I've put some inside. This is my tomatoes. You know the tomatoes we blended. <laughs> hey god though my freezer is is filled up i don't know i don't know guys maybe maybe i'll see if i can put in the fridge but this is not the best way to preserve it i'm making so much effort to get some uh, deep freezer today tomorrow if not this will start uh, spoiling here and i don't want it because i know the guy has a while also to get this like you can see i see this one don't this spoil yeah i'm going to throw this away so what I will do now, I'm going to reshuffle all of them, get the stronger ones, then keep it outside, then the softer ones, then I will start putting it inside, looking for a way to, look for a way to put it inside the freezer till I get my deep freezer, yeah. I bought this thing like four days ago, like five days ago actually, but I've been so sick, I've not been feeling too well. I just packed it here. So this morning I just came back from night shift and I feel like, okay, this is the perfect time for me to do this, yeah. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So guys, after the last clip you saw, I couldn't sleep because I was like, if I leave that shepherd pepper for a day, it will just spoil. So I feel like okay, let me use this time to go to Facebook Marketplace. Guys, I started looking for freezer. Two hours I couldn't see. I started looking for freezer. So luckily this person posted before I priced her before she said no. So later I went back to she posted for two hundred dollars. So this time around I priced her will she give me hundred dollars? She said okay, I should come and take. So I traveled all the way from St. John's to Mansco to get this freezer for hundred dollar guys. You see the inside, the inside is so deep. It's an old model freezer and it's still working perfectly good. See guys, I want a jackpot. <laughs> I'm so happy for this freezer, honestly. I have like eight cartons of it. Yeah. And in here is the things that I bought like last month. Because I didn't have freezer, I just left it outside. So I feel like I can put it inside the freezer so that it won't start uh, developing ants. So So finally, this is a result. So, guys, just to show you that this my freezer is so big. This is how the thing swallowed eight cartons of a uh, shombo and uh, six cartons of uh, the seven cartons of tomatoes. So this is the tomatoes, and I had to bring it back from the freezer inside the kitchen. Yeah, it's too bad. There's two baskets inside, so one is down, and this is the second one. And this is my show, guys. So this window is going to be winter, so I don't want to be left out at all. Yeah. I'm so happy for this freezer, honestly. This is exactly what I ordered versus what I got. Yeah.